Saudi Arabia is striving for the same goal with its proposed $1 trillion megacity, the Mirror Line. This project is poised to challenge Dubai's iconic Burj Khalifa and its world-class shopping mall. The Mirror Line is a vital part of the Neom project, a visionary city set to rise in the northwestern part of Saudi Arabia near the boundaries of Egypt and Jordan. Neom, an Arabic phrase for new future, embodies the vision of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who seeks to diversify the economy and modernize a traditionally conventional nation. The idea for these plans emerged when Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman encouraged authorities to harness the region's potential and create something that could rival Egypt's awe-inspiring pyramids. Once the plans took shape, it was decided that this marvel would be part of a desert complex known as Neom, a zero-emission smart city situated along the Gulf of Akbar, to the east of Egypt's Sinai Peninsula. The promotional material is truly remarkable. Two massive skyscrapers covered in mirrors, spanning over 100 miles across the vast desert and rugged mountains, with the promise of becoming the future home for 9 million people. Is this the epitome of high-density living or a grand vision from the world of science fiction? In the domains of economics, architecture, and analysis, there is a notable sense of uncertainty. Saudi Arabia's ambitious plan to create an urban paradise named The Line is so grand that even those deeply involved in the project are uncertain if its vast scale and comprehensive scope can become a reality. This week, both doubters and supporters gained a deeper look into the impressive goals of this venture, which serves as the centerpiece of the futuristic neon site near the Gulf of Aqaba. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the driving force behind this forward-looking development, outlined the key aspects of what he sees as one of the boldest urban projects in recent times. He declared, The Line is a project that signifies a major transformation, with the well-being of humanity as its focus. At its core, the Mirror Line consists of two towering structures, each soaring to a height of 1,600 feet, running parallel across a distance of 75 miles, spanning diverse terrains including deserts, coastlines, and mountains. Prince Mohammed bin Salman has set an ambitious goal for the Mirror Line to be completed by 2030, even though engineers have suggested it might take up to 50 years to build. The immense length of this massive structure requires it to be supported by struts to accommodate the Earth's curvature. Additionally, a high-speed train line will be integrated beneath it. If thoroughly realized, this tower will begin at the Gulf of Aqaba, cross a mountain range, and continue along the coastline, ending in a desert aerotropolis, as reported by the Wall Street Journal. Salman also stressed that the project is designed to allow a million residents within a five-minute walk and to enable end-to-end -end travel within a 20-minute radius. Moreover, it is intended to be powered by sustainable, renewable energy sources. These modern buildings have a shining silver exterior and a complex interior with twisting staircases, green plants, and homes meant to create a connected community. The massive project, expected to cost trillions of dollars, aims to house 5 million people once completed. There's a high-speed train system integrated under these enormous structures, as per the Wall Street Journal. A marina beneath these buildings will provide a unique waterfront experience. This large community will sustain itself through creative vertical farming on the skyscraper walls. Residents will subscribe to a meal plan for three meals a day. Prince Mohammed bin Salman is determined to make sure these buildings have zero carbon emissions benefiting the local environment. In a desert setting, you'll find more than just heat and sand. The Mirror Line will also feature a sports stadium soaring 1,000 feet high. In addition to this exciting project, Salman believes that Neom as a whole will create thousands of new jobs, lessening the country's dependence on oil as its main source of income, as reported by the Wall Street Journal. Initially introduced in 2017, Neom has consistently drawn attention with its bold ideas, including flying taxis and robotic helpers, although architects and economists have challenged its feasibility. Saudi authorities have big plans for a colossal structure that stands 500 meters tall and spans 200 meters wide. Artificial intelligence will be at the heart of this car-free, environmentally friendly haven, which is set to have a controlled microclimate. It's important to note that previous environmental commitments made have faced skepticism from environmentalists, including a promise to make sure that by 2060 that there are zero carbon emissions. To help people visualize this ambitious concept, multimedia presentations have been created. These well-crafted videos depict a megacity that somewhat resembles the iconic Death Star, complete with captivating hanging gardens. Residents can expect all day necessities to be within a five-minute walking distance, a high-speed rail system, and recreational activities like skiing that cover the whole city in just 20 minutes, according to an official statement. Even though the NEON will have its unique laws still in the works, Saudi officials have made it clear that they won't be lifting the kingdom's ban on alcohol. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's vision for modern living is central to his broader agenda of moving away from an oil-dependent economy and a conservative society, which he believes has held back the nation's progress. Neon was conceived in part as a departure from tradition and a break from the stagnation of the past four decades, during which leaders adhered to a strict interpretation of Islam and maintained rigid societal norms. On Monday, the kingdom's de facto ruler emphasized that the line aims to become the world's most livable city by far. 
He stated that the model he envisions is a remedy for unchecked urban development and wasteful practices that have lowered the quality of life for city residents. The first phase of this massive project, set to run until 2030, is estimated to cost about 1.2 trillion Saudi rials, which is roughly estimated to be $265 billion, according to Prince Mohammed. They're exploring various funding sources, not just government support, and might even have a public offering for this project in 2024. Prince Mohammed has privately shared his vision of Saudi Arabia having its version of the pyramids, seeking global recognition like other regional nations. However, the project's enormity and its evolution over the past five years have left some experts doubting its feasibility. A consultant linked to the Saudi government expressed doubts about the project, citing limited access to the site and the tight eight-year timeline before residents are expected to move in, saying, it's a lot to take on trust, and then there's the inertia in the system. It's hard to excise that. Robert Mogelnicki pointed out the present concept is far different from its original idea, so much that it is tough to figure out which direction the concept is going. Maybe it is scaling up, scaling down, or taking an entirely different path. Prince Mohammed envisions a sustainable increase in the national population, believing it's vital for Saudi Arabia, the world's largest crude oil exporter, to become an economic powerhouse. He emphasized, that's the main purpose of building NEOM to boost Saudi Arabia's capacity and attract more people to Saudi Arabia. And since we're starting from scratch, why replicate traditional cities? Creating a city from scratch to solve urban problems is not a new idea. It's been tried in different parts of the world, like Brasilia, Chandigarh in India, Putriaya in Malaysia, and Mazdar City in Abu Dhabi, as pointed out by Carlos Felipe Pardo a senior advisor in the new Urban Mobility Alliance. Pardo, who's based in Colombia, compares this approach to wanting to live on Mars because Earth seems messy. He notes that despite starting fresh, past big city plans have often led to new issues in their carefully designed urban spaces. While he acknowledges that this strategy can tackle some common urban challenges, Pardo believes it doesn't help those already dealing with problems in existing cities. As he looks at the designs for the line, Pardo is concerned that its high-tech focus seems to overlook people's basic desire to connect with nature and and have experiences in a city that aren't entirely artificial. He thinks this might seem unattainable, too restricted, or over-artificial. However, Pardo does see potential in integrating some aspects of this futuristic design into existing cities, which could bring positive results. There are also concerns about the environmental impact of the futuristic city. While supporters highlight the line's lack of emissions and smaller environmental footprint compared to regular cities, critics point out that creating a whole new city in the desert will have its own environmental costs. However, this project has sparked questions about how closely Western countries should align with Saudi Arabia and its de facto ruler, given ongoing concerns. The US government accused Prince Mohammed of approving an operation in Istanbul, Turkey in 2018, leading to the brutal killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi by Saudi agents. Additionally, Saudi Arabia is involved in a violent proxy war against Iran in Yemen and faces criticism for its human rights record. To ease potential residents' worries about following the kingdom's strict laws, a Neom tourist official reportedly suggests that the residents would be called Neomians and have different rules. This statement drew attention, and Neom later clarified that while the region might act as a special economic zone, it would still be part of the kingdom, subject to all relevant rules regarding security, defense, and border protection. If you like this video, click on the screen to watch other videos like this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to get notified when we post a new video.